Good day everyone! Welcome to another session of Mommy Teo Teaches Math. Our topic for today is illustrating and distinguishing simple and compound interest. Let's do it. We have here the formulas for simple and compound. I sub S is equal to P R T, P times R times T. I sub S is of course the simple interest. P is the present value or the principal amount. R is the rate of interest which is expressed in percent to be changed in decimal. And then T is for the time which is expressed in years. Your F here is the maturity value or the future value. Again, it is equal to P which is the present or the principal amount plus the interest or the simple interest. For compound interest, you have the formula F is equal to P quantity 1 plus I raised to N. This F is the maturity or future value. P is the principal or the present value. I is computed by dividing the nominal rate or the rate of interest divided by, of course, the M, which is the frequency conversion period. This one can be annually, which is equivalent to 1, semi-annually, which is equivalent to 2, quarterly equivalent to 4, and monthly equivalent to 12. N is equal to MT. This M is, of course, this frequency conversion period in T is for the time which is in years. Now, the formula for the compound interest is I sub C is equal to F minus P, the future minus the present. Okay, let us illustrate now these two interests. Suppose you won 10000 and you plan to invest it in 5 years. A cooperative group offers 2% simple interest rate per year. A bank offers 2% compounded annually. Which will you choose and why? Which one will you choose? Where will you invest your money? Is it in the cooperative or is it in the bank? Let's find out. So, let's identify first the given. The P is 10000 the R is 2%. Let's change it to decimal. That will be, drop the sign of percent, move the decimal point two places to the left. That will be R is equal to 0 0.02. And then the T is 5. The M is annually, that is 1. The I is equal to R divided by M. R is 0 0.02 divided by 1, so I is equal to 0 0.02. The N is equal to MT, so this is 1 times 5, N is equal to 5. Okay, let's do it. We will be illustrating first simple interest. This one is the formula, PRT, so that will be 10,000 times 0 0.02 times 5. I will be using, of course, scientific calculator here, this one. You just multiply 10,000 by 0 0.02 by 5, and you will be getting there, of course, 1,000. Okay. So, the interest that you will be getting from a cooperative will be, of course, 1,000 pesos. Okay? So, what about for compound interest? The formula is I sub C is equal to F minus T. We do not have F yet. So, we will be solving for F first. That will be P, it's 10,000. And then, 1 plus I is... 0 0.02 raised to n is 5. So this is 10,000. 1.02 raised to 5. You have to press this on your calculator. 1.02 raised to 5 is equivalent to that will be 1.1040. And so on. Okay. So multiplying the two, 
you will be getting 11,000 zero four zero point eight one okay now how are we going to get the i so based on the formula you will be subtracting it by p this one is the f the p is ten thousand so you just subtract ten thousand one what is this ten thousand this is one eight zero four zero one okay so this is i sub c so the interest of your money when you invest it in a bank that offers two percent compounded annually will be 1040.81 and for cooperative group you will be having only 1000 so of course if i were you i will be investing it where in a bank because it is higher 1040 by how much 40 pesos and 81 centavos okay still in illustrating simple and compound interest let's take this example which type of interest yields a higher return on investment 10,000 invested in a bank which pays 3% simple interest at the end of one year or 10,000 invested in a bank which pays 5% interest compounded quarterly at the end of one year. So we will be having again, of course, I sub S and I sub C. Let's identify first the given. P is equal to 10,000. R is equivalent to, that is 3%. So drop it and then move. That will be R equals 0 0.03. And T is 1 in year because of this. So you have the formula P times R times T. This is 10,000 times 0 0.03 times 1. You will be getting there 300. Okay. So that is the simple interest. Now, what about for compound interest? Let's solve it. Let us identify first dm. dm is equivalent to, this one is compounded quarterly, 4. The t is still 1. The i is equivalent to, this one is 5%. So meaning, this is not the rate of percent anymore for compound. This is equivalent to 5%, which is equivalent to 0 0.05. So that is 0 0.05 divided by 4. You divide 0 0.05 by 4, that will be equal to, here is my calculator, 0 0.05 divided by 4. I have 0 0.0125 and then n is equal to m times t, n is equal to 4 times 1, n is equal to 4. Okay, so it's complete now. Let's apply the formula. I sub c is equal to f minus p but we do not have again f yet. So let's solve for f first. That will be F equals 10,000 times 1 plus 0 0.0125 raised to 4. Okay, that's based on the formula. So this is equal to 10,000. If you will add the 2, that will be 1.0125 raised to 4. And then F is equal to... You just press 1.0125 and then this key and then 4. You will be getting there, of course. You will be getting there. It's, let's do it. 1.0125 raised to 4. You will be getting 1.0525. Four, five, and so on. So 
So times 10,000. Okay. So the future or the maturity value therefore is 10,000. 509.45 Okay Now, subtracting it That will be 10,000 minus P Minus 10,000 54905 So, this one is I sub C The first one what was the first one? It's 300 and this one is 509.45. Of course, again, which type of interest yields a higher return on investment? The one that is invested in 5% compounded quarter. How are we going to distinguish simple from compound interest? This one is very easy. Why? Once you read the problem, all you have to do is to look up this phrase, simple interest and compound frequency conversion period, okay? So, from the word simple and from the word compound, you can easily identify which of these two formulas are you going to use. So, let's take this example. A bank offers 0.25% simple interest rate for a particular deposit. How much interest will be earned if 1 million is deposited for a year? Okay, so this one is very simple. It is already stated here, simple interest. So, therefore, you will be using I sub S is equal to P times R times T. Let's identify the given. P is 1 million. How many zeros? Six zeros. Okay. So, our interest rate is R. It's 0 0.0, 0 0.25% drop 1, 2. So, that will be R equals 0 0.0. 0, 2, 5. Okay. And your time here is 1 year. That one. Simple. So, I sub S is equal to 1 million. Okay. We have to move this here. This is I sub S. Simple interest 1 million. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Times point zero zero two five times 1. I sub S is equal to, you will be getting there 2,500. So, meaning to say, you will have an interest of 2,500 after one year, but you need to deposit 1 million first. Example number 3. How much interest is charged when 50,000 is borrowed from 9 for nine months at an annual simple interest rate of 10%. Okay. So again, this one is annual simple interest. Therefore, we will be using I sub S is equal to P times R times T. So let's identify the given. P is 50,000. And then R is 10%. So that will be equal to 0 0.10. And then you have 9 months T. 9 months, as I have said, this one should be expressed in, should be expressed in years. So what is 9 months in years? 9 months in years is 9 over 12. So T now is equal to 0 0.75. This one is 3 fourths. This is 3 fourths. That's why it's 0.75. Okay, so let's do it. So I sub S is equal to 50,000 times 0.10 times 0.75. Okay. So you will be getting here I sub S is equal to 0.10 times 
0.75 times 50,000, you will be getting here 3,750. Okay. Example number four. Okay, you deposited 8,000 in a savings account for four years at 0.5% compounded quarterly. How much will KD have at the end of four years? How much is the interest? So we will be computing for the future value or maturity value and of course the compound interest. Okay, so let's identify first the given P equals 8,000. R equals 0.5%. Drop it and then 1, 2. So R is equal to 0 0.005. And then your M is quarterly 4. And then your T is also 4 for years. And then N is equivalent to M times T. M times T. This is 4 times 4. N is equal to 16. And then I is equivalent to R 0 0.005 divided by 4. And you will be getting here 0 0.005 divided by 4. You will be getting I equals 0 0.00125. Okay. Next, let's apply now the formula. This is F. We will be getting first the F before the I sub C because we do not have F yet. So this is 8,000. 1 plus. That is point zero point zero zero one two five raised to 16 okay so f is equal to 8000 you have to add this 1.00125 raised to 16 of course you will be pressing this one first 1.00125 raised to 16 this this will be the keys that you will be pressing in your calculator and then you will be getting there 8161.51 okay so this one is the future value and then to get the interest you know already what to do you just subtract it by the p so minus i sub c is equivalent to 8161.51 minus 8000 so you will be getting 511610 okay so this one is 161 only so that is 161 and 51 centavos Oh, okay.